The villages of Togo and Kontogola in Mali are about 100 kilometers apart. But when you listen to Musa Samake and Amadou Dao describe the effects of wood cutting on the pluviometry, the vegetation, the soil, you would think that you are listening to the same man. Amadou Dao, 56 years old, is the deputy mayor of the village of Zanabugu and the elected councillor in Togo. <laughs> Mr. Dao tells us that there used to be a great deal of trees, all of them more or less extinct today, mainly because of overpopulation. Deforestation increases the negative effects of climate change, which includes erosion of the soil, pluviometric deficit, and the fall of agricultural productivity. Musa Samake, who is just 30 years old, makes the same observation and justifies his environmental commitment. Mr. Luke Sogoba is the chief of the planning division of the Regional Directorate of the Water and Forest in Segu. According to him, if deforestation is growing faster than reforestation in Mali, it is because of the ignorance and unpatriotic attitudes. Il y a les fonciers surtout. Il y a également la pluviométrie. Nous avons parlé de ça, et puisque tout ce que nous faisons est tributaire de la pluviométrie. In Contogola, Musa Samake only dreams about one thing: seeing his area green again. By dint of willpower and by his own means which is nothing much to talk about, the young man plants one tree after another relentlessly. Samake started his plantation in 2005. That year, he returned from Ivory Coast where he had been working at pushing a hand cart with which he ported people's goods at the market. Since then, he has devoted himself to his new passion, reforestation. <laughs> A choice which has paid off. The man now makes money by selling the fruits coming from his trees. But if he is fighting so much, it is not just for an income, but to ensure a serene future for his children. Sameke also intends to make money with the Jatrofa, also called the fuel tree. Today, it is the most planted species of tree for reforestation in Mali. Besides the individual initiatives at reforestation, the villagers raise collective plantations with the support of development partners. In Togo, the villagers only planted Jatrofa, which was introduced with the support of JICA, the Japanese International Cooperation Association, and under the supervisory control of the Agricultural Technical Services, based in Segu. Badian Keita is 71 years old. He is the president of the association organized by the Japanese Corporation, JICA, in order to manage the plantation. Thanks to JICA, the village now has a vaccination pen for the cattle and an extraction mill for the share butter. There is also a credit found, which is the pride and joy of the inhabitants. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
But to what do we owe the explanation of why, with all that much support, the plantation of Togo is so badly fenced, not well tended, and all trees seem to lack adequate water? Coca Galea. Senegal. If you run in from Fena, Bafo Catiso. Amaldo Alere Merimogodre. Alide Urain Nama. Le village n'a pas de terre. C'est les individus à l'intérieur qui ont des terres. Et quand il y a ces donations, c'est généralement la bonne volonté du chef de village pour mettre à la disposition des groupes de femmes pour leur permettre de marcher ou des hommes pour ou la communauté totale pour euh, réaliser une plantation. The plot of land next to the cemetery on which the Jatrofa trees have been planted was the property of Dao, the town councillor. The man committed himself to his conviction that it was a way to retain the favour of his electorates and honour his status as a member of the royal family of Kontogola. Once the land becomes available, the population still has to be mobilised. This has never been an easy thing and it still isn't. <laughs> Idrissa Diawara is the managing director of agriculture in Segu, a job he has been doing since 2005. He personally favors the reforestation project financed by JICA. Mr. Diawara readily admits that they are facing difficulties in Zanabugu. Effectivement, il y a cette difficulté de, de, de mobilité, de mobilisation des, des, des paysans autour de, des différentes activités. Mais nous ne pouvons pas dire que tous les villages, tous les villageois vont à une activité donnée. Nous disons que les villageois choisissent eux-mêmes. C'est ce qui est durable, qu'ils choisissent eux-mêmes l'activité, hein, apprécient eux-mêmes et adoptent, et à leur façon aussi. Mr. Diawara puts this weak mobilization down to illiteracy, skepticism, and the lack of awareness campaigns and training of the villagers. Doubtlessly, it is to this that accounts for the fact that an isolated youngster, only counting on himself, can succeed. The plantation individual reçoivent mieux que les plantations euh, comment dirais-je collectives. Nous sommes en train de voir est-ce qu'il n'est pas mieux de conseiller aux paysans. Chaque paysan, alors quand tu as quelques lopins, il faut quand même songer, même si c'est le dixième de tes superficies, il faut planter ça en arbre. Et les, 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 nous avons vu l'intérêt de cela. Ceux qui ont des plantations aujourd'hui. Mais on pense que ça c'est laissé pour compte. On lâche les femmes par là-bas et c'est maintenant les femmes qui gagnent. Donc les hommes également sont en train d'être attirés par cela. Donc c'est pour dire que tant que le reboisement n'est pas mis dans notre système de production, alors nous n'avons pas tellement de chances à réussir le pari. C'est pourquoi je disais que au moment où on parle d'initiative riz, d'initiative ceci, cela, il faut aussi parler d'initiative bois. Et cela a son importance. Mr. Diawara confirms this analysis and explains why the individual approach is fashionable. Je pense qu'aujourd'hui, qu'il faut aller à la demande. Quand l'approche est à la demande, c'est plus efficace. Donc, euh, je suis d'accord qu'il faut aujourd'hui répondre aux communautés qui viennent pour une plantation collective, il faut répondre 
à leur appui. Et aussi, les individuels, ils seront beaucoup plus intéressants. L'approche individuelle, parce qu'en ce moment, euh, il n'est pas facile de drainer tous les villages autour d'une plantation. Mais s'il y a un individu dans les villages qui se prononce et qui a l'amour de cette activité pour planter, je pense que c'est qu'il faut beaucoup accompagner. Ça, c'est de mon point de vue. So, individual or collective plantation, which is which? It is now up to you. One way or the other, the stakes remain the same. Reconstruct the vegetable cover of the soil to weaken the devastating effects of climate disorder while providing income. Thank you.